Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on where to download free software from Autodesk website. If you click on the link that I have provided underneath the tutorial on YouTube, you will get to this website. And if this is the first time that you need to download a software, then you need to set up an account. And to do this, you will go to sign in and now select need an education account. And now you just fill in all of the information. In here you need to select that you are actually a student and just fill in the rest of the information. I do want to point out that it's possible to use your private email, but they might ask you for some documentation to show that you are actually a student. So if you use your VIA email, then you don't need to provide the documentation. Now just mark that you agree on the service term and also the use term and click on next and now you're ready to sign in. And to sign in, we'll just click up here. And now I just need to fill in all of my information. Select sign in. And now we can see that I have signed in because I have my name up here. And now I'm ready to uh, download uh, the software. And we need to select the uh, student software and we need to click on college and university students. And in here you get a list of the different software that you can download. In this case it is filtered by the most popular software. But if we click on Architecture, Engineering and Construction, then we'll get a list of the different software which is uh, or which are relevant for the different uh, fields of Architecture, Engineering and Construction. For the second semester students, we will use the AutoCAD and we will use the version which we have right here. And for the first semester students, we will use Revit and we will use the version right here. So to download a free uh, license, we will click on Revit or click on the link. And then we get a license for three years if we just fill in the information. The first part is to sign in and this we have already done. And the next step is to select the version that you want. And in our case, we always want the newest version, so this will be 2015. And also we want to select a language and also an operating system. So now we get a serial number and also a product key. And it's quite important that you write down both the number and the key because you will use it during the installation of the software. So now just click on install now and follow the steps along.